Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to another video. Whoa, it's really foggy here. I just realized that. Um, today is exciting um, because we're heading over to the Farmington Canal Rail Trail, which is where I will be doing my first 100 mile ride. As you know, I was looking for 100 subscribers and once I reached 100 subscribers, I would do that. And the last time, last week I checked, um, I had 95 subscribers and uh, last week on my ride, I said I was just going to do it anyway because um, it was, it's one of the few weekends that I can actually do this with Jason's help. So, um, today I will be doing the 100 mile ride and uh, good news, well, great news is that I actually reached 100 subscribers. In fact, I got 101 subscribers as of last night. So um, that's really exciting. And uh, yeah, I am excited to share this experience with you guys. Well, I couldn't find really a more uh, a flatter route around where we live. Um, and I wanted to do um, low less elevation for this ride because um, it is my first century ride so um, I'd like to and I want to do a lower elevation eventually um, I would like to do one with one on real roads uh, not on a rail trail um, and hopefully when Jason's feeling better so yeah I um, can't wait to share this experience with you guys and I'll see you on the trail here now um, at Farmington Canal Rail Trail and behind me you can actually see a really cool hot air balloon. There are two parts of this trail. We have the southern and the northern. Uh, the northern part is what I will be riding through and uh, overall the Canal Rail Trail is 84 miles and um, pretty flat. Uh, so what I'm going to do is do my 100 mile here, um, start in the northern, the bottom of the northern trail, then go all the way up to Massachusetts, then come back down again, and there's like a little J shaped to the trail. And so that will take me to about 70 miles, and I'll come back down and up until I hit 100. So it's kind of like an out and back, it's not a really a loop, which would have been preferable but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready here and get started <laughs> the uh, rail trail now and first time riding this trail so really excited that it has these roads and yeah I, hope, I was hoping that Jason would actually be able to ride with me today but I understand that you know, he's still recovering, so it's just a solo ride on the rail trail. Uh, so exciting because I don't have to worry about cars. That's the best part. And I can relax a little bit. So yeah, it's about 4,000 feet of elevation gain today. And uh, no major climbing, so that's, that's great just me and the rail trail oh my god this is great nice smooth paved road just dedicated 
or cyclists and runners. crossings and it looks like cars are required to stop and I see a marking of the road to slow down. That's good to know. Um, at first I couldn't see it but they actually have a marking to stop um, like 20 feet back so that's why I couldn't see it. So that's good. I feel safe that way, but really enjoying this ride. planning on doing is taking in 300 calories per hour so that is the goal for today I'm gonna to eat this up and then we're going to head on out so this is 57 minutes and I so far have 14.1 miles in It was a bug and it stung me right underneath my eye. Ugh. That hurt. It hurt really bad. So I hope I gotta check to see if it's bleeding. So I am at 30 miles in now and two hours. I believe I'm in Massachusetts and so far so good. I just had cliff bars and goo. It's definitely a lot better to ride than to stop because you get the breeze when you're riding cooling you down. So I'm going to keep going until I have to turn around. Now it says Columbia Greenway. <laughs>
47 miles with three hours in. Um, I am meeting Jason at the four hour mark. Not sure exactly um, if that's going to be four hours or less. I'm kind of sitting here on a bench near a busy street and everybody's looking at me. The cars are stopped in a red light right now and people riding by just kind of staring at me looking at the camera while I'm filming myself so um, so far so good and um, it's probably because of the fact that you know it is a pretty pretty flat route and that's the st tricky thing about riding these flat roads is that it's a constant pedaling and it's just like ugh. Uh, no, no coasting, um, although I could coast, I uh, have been only doing that when I try to, when I pass uh, other people on the, on the trail. But it's just been a really nice ride so far, and it's hot, but the actual, most of the rail trail is under the trees, and so it is really easy to uh, stay cool. Right now, um, I'm stopped, so it's kind of hard to... Uh, stay cool uh, when I'm not moving, but I do uh, really enjoy uh, this ride. This, I just was happened to notice that there's a cafe also in the corner of this road. So that is really neat. And I'm gonna have to, um, when I ride this road with, or this trail with Jason, I'm gonna have to um, show him, we're gonna have to stop by that cafe. Um, anyway. Uh, so I'm going to check the map to see exactly where I'm going to meet Jason, how far along that is. And I, I'm not sure if I told you guys this on my ride, but I was um, bit by a bug right here somewhere. Um, a bug flew into my sunglasses and um, landed on my cheek and uh, it hurt, but I don't think I have any marks there. So, hi. Hello. And so, yeah, I'm going to have my peanut butter and jelly and uh, a goo gel now. So that's about another 300 or so calories. Uh, so far, so good. So just, thir just pretty thirsty right now. You got it. Yeah, hopefully. Let's hope. You got it. 20 out, 20 back. Okay. Yeah. That's all I got to do. All right. Love you. Love you too. 20 out and 20 back. That's going to be weird because I have to go in a loop or, or like I have to go kind of, kind of like in a J. I don't know. So I'll see you at that other, the original. Yep. Um, parking spot? Yeah. There's yeah. my gloves. Oh, my gloves are here. Okay. Love you, honey. Love you, too. Thank you again. Love. Mm. Have fun. Thanks. Thanks, guy. I'm going to have a few bumps, so... Call me if you don't want to any problems. I will. I'm actually going to put my phone on... Uh, airplane mode because it's running low on battery because it's connected to my phone I mean to my helmet so okay okay yeah okay all right yeah yeah I, I'll try All right, thanks, honey. So, the heat is pretty...
pretty brutal. Uh, that's definitely what's causing me to slow down. Uh, luckily I was able to get some water, extra water, seeing Jason there and knowing that if I split the ride, I have 40, min 40 miles left to go. If I split it into two parts, because it's an out and back, it'll be 20 miles one way, 20 miles going back. I was battling a headwind coming back down, so that means the last couple of miles that I have left, I will be battling another headwind. So I'm hoping, I don't even know what time it is, and it cools down a bit as the sun makes its way down, um, I'm hoping that it doesn't cool off. on the canal, the river here, they have like inflatable floaties floating around. Oh, here's more. I'm at 75 miles at the fifth hour. Oh man, overall I'm feeling pretty good. Um, fueling is actually uh, perfect. My strategy uh, went really well with that or is going really well with that. Um, it is pretty hot and I do wish that I could be inside in the air conditioning. And I think being indoors with air conditioning spoiled me and so I didn't really uh, do any heat training per, per se so um, but overall the breeze is very nice when um, you know once once I start getting back on the bike I do have to make sure that I drink um, I brought two actually I brought four bottles of water with me today um, I actually got this uh, burrito bag uh, and it sounds it looks so silly uh, in front of the handlebars but um, it's able to fit two more of the soft flask bottles so I have this soft flask bottle here um, and it's all this is almost gone so the great thing about this is that once it's finished I can roll it up and um, stash it away and um, yeah it doesn't get it does, it's not an added extra weight uh, on my on my bike but when once it's fully when it's fully loaded with food and water and everything it is pretty heavy i can definitely feel it um but yeah no i uh i'm gonna finish uh my crackers and uh a goo gel and um uh, and then head on out
Woohoo! Oh. Joy just finished her 100 mile ride. Wow, in the heat. In the heat. Oh, yikes. How do you, you doing okay? Yeah. Exhausted. Yeah, I bet. Hot. D did you have enough water? I did, but you know, I'm always thirsty. So. Yeah. Uh, done with the ride. Uh, boy, was I glad to <clears throat> finish it. And uh, we're out here now at this place in Farmington called Wood and Tap and grabbing dinner to go. Probably going to eat it in the car and if we can find a, a place to, to park to eat it, uh, we will. <clears throat> but so... Um, the ride actually came out short of 100 miles so what I had to do was uh, turn around to do one mile and then came back for the full 100 so I did do 100 miles it's just that it didn't um, it wasn't uh, it came up short towards the end and uh, so I just had to add two miles in uh, anyway, so the ride came out to be 100.26 miles with 3,317 feet of climbing. Moving time was 6 hours and 48 minutes with an average speed of 14.7 miles per hour. Uh, yeah, it was really hard and I definitely think that riding on Zwift because of that continuous pedaling uh, that really helped to um, kind of prep me for this because the road was pretty flat even though there there's an elevate there's elevation gain um, it was pretty flat um, so it had to you know there I had many times where I just had to continue to continuously pedal anyway uh, just that I'm extremely proud of of my wife here uh, she done a lot of training and, and hard work uh, to get to this point and this is this is another milestone that she's reached with with her cycling fitness uh, 100 miles is is just uh, wow it's a it's a long distance and I think her her riding time today was over it was like close to seven hours and she was going at a pretty good pace at almost 15 miles an hour so um, you know, that's, that's a lot of volume right there in one day, and I'm sure she's exhausted, uh, but I'm proud of her for completing this, this feat and this milestone, and, um, I really wish that I could have done it with her, but, uh, soon enough, um, we'll be riding together again, and, um, once I get back on the bike outdoors, it won't be too much longer before we're attempting an 100 miler together. And I also just want to say thanks, uh, thanks to all the subscribers of the channel, um, and thanks to the five or six or so that subscribed in the last week, um, just in time for Joy's 100 mile ride. Uh, so thank you all for subscribing and supporting the channel. Joy, in addition to to the hard work she puts into her rides, she also puts a lot of work into the videos. So I appreciate, or we appreciate, um, everyone who takes the time to watch them. Also, Jason did a pretty long ride yesterday. Um, he did the Uber Pretzel and on Zwift. So we kind of both punished ourselves for some odd reason over the weekend and uh, it's, it's, probably not a good idea to do that because I, I don't know. I, I blame my suffering on Joy because it was her idea to do this 100 miler this weekend and in the spirit of doing a, I, although I couldn't, I suppose I could have done an 100 miler on Zwift but I would have had to do uh, a route multiple times because they don't have any hundred mile routes on there so I just picked the longest one that they had and it was just in the same it's not not the same as doing the hundred miles that she just did it was a shorter ride than that but 
it was um, it was in the same spirit of just doing a long brutal ride uh, so yeah that's what I did yesterday all right guys so thank you so much for watching but definitely share what long rides what the longest rides you've done uh, either recently or in the past uh, leave that in the comment section below until next time we'll see you again maybe next week um, <laughs> I'm losing my voice all right take care and don't forget to enjoy the ride bye bye